They have adjudication. And then coffin. So a final decision had been made um, with adjudication and coffin being here for something to be over, something to come to an end. This could be a situation that you're going through or someone else. Um, expectation. Somebody could have been held up for a long time, like just waiting for something to end. Now something is like finally over. And as I said, this could be you. This could be someone that you're attached to, someone that you have detached from. This could be someone who wants to come towards you, different people that they're attached to, different people that they have detached from. This is masculine and feminine energy, past, present, or near future. So you have to take what resonates and just leave what doesn't. But yeah, this could this whatever this is, this have held someone up for a long time. And this could be, you know, something involving the justice system as well. Toil and labor. And this popped out in a re reverse. So something didn't work. Or maybe while this person was in this expectation energy, they were working hard. You know, working on something. So they were being very patient. This is someone that has a lot of patience. But it's like, if this was something that was done to have someone like at a complete stalemate to like stop them, pause them, this person was working. Yeah, despair is here. It's like somebody is in despair. They're in regret. They could be embarrassed. Because they could have wanted to like slow somebody down and you know they did something to have them wrapped up in some type of court situation or the justice system. And they thought this would slow this person down and just have them, you know, at a stalemate, just waiting. But that person was working hard on something. Yeah, you have the privileged lady. So it's like this person is someone that's very abundant. Whatever it is that they have been working on, they're having prosperity. They've gained some type of prosperity. You have false person. So somebody could have did something fraudulent. Like this could have been someone who was framed. If you know. Yeah, because it's like whoever this person is that's in despair is a false person. They were trying to hide something from someone that they were close to. Yeah, they didn't want that person to see something about a lie or. Could have been who this person is or something like that for who they truly are. This could be a family member. Somebody that's close to them, like in their family. This could have been um, someone that they had a family with. So you have to take it where it resonates that did this. You have official person. So somebody did not want a family to see someone as an official person. Yeah. So somebody did something fraudulent. To try to have somebody, you know, look in a certain way. But they didn't expect for this person to be in this toil and labor energy, like working very hard. And they didn't expect for this person to prosper the way that they did. Courtship. So this could have been somebody that, you know, wanted to date you. And they didn't want... Somebody close to this person did not want that person to see you as an official person. And they didn't want a family to see you as an official person. So it's like they got, they did something fraudulent. Yeah, courthouse in the reverse. This person did something like injustice. Unfair. This is somebody that, you know, could have caused some type of legal situation for you, a court situation for you. And they just, you know, when they did what they did, they didn't expect for you to get out of it. They didn't expect for it to end. They didn't expect for something to be made fair. Yeah, pathway is here. But it's like your pathway is clear. Community. And then bad health. And then you have the mature woman. So somebody around this person could be like sick. 
a family member of theirs could be sick behind something. Like they could be in bad health. That person could have also, you know, went to a community of people to make it seem like whoever this person was was someone that was in bad health. Yeah. Yeah. A community of people could be looking at that person as someone that's unstable as well. <laughs> this is sad. Like somebody truly wanted to make somebody look bad and now they, they're embarrassed. Because it's like these same people are looking at this person as a mature woman or someone that's very mature. This person is very prosperous. This person works hard for whatever it is that they have. And they see this person as an official person. So this did not work. You have the Queen of Wands. They could be looking at you as someone that's very, um, very strong. You're someone that is very intuitive. It's like you use your intuition because um, you have a lot of self-confidence. So it's like you're able to go with whatever it is that you, you know, deeply, truly feel that you should be doing. This is why this was not able to like slow you down or distract you, but just have you stuck. This not knowing what to do next. This is the energy somebody wanted you in. But yeah, it's like you, this gave you a lot of courage. King of Pentacles. And then you have the hair font. Two of Wands. So they were definitely trying to stop someone from coming towards you because they could have knew that this person not only wanted to, you know, date you, but this person is someone who wants to be in a commitment. Like they want marriage. And somebody knew that. So they were trying to hold you up and they were trying to hold that person up. Like they wanted that person to be undecided, unsure, standing at a stalemate, not knowing what to do next. You know, as they could have been, you know, watching you and observing you trying to figure out whatever it is that you were going through. As they didn't know they were, you know, dealing with a false person. The strength card. Yeah, it's like you've overcame a lot of challenges. Six of Cups. And it's like whoever that person is, they needed to overcome some type of challenges, gain some type of strength and courage to... um move forward because it's like now that person it seemed like they have been held up for a long time and they want to come towards you like re reconnect with you six of cups reunite with you yeah, and somebody's in regret five of cups is here they're disappointed knight of swords And it's like whoever this person is that's in regret, that person is someone, this could be the person that wants to come towards you. That person just wants to run away, like leave. Knight of Swords. It's like they don't want to be around that person. You have the Queen of Pentacles. And then Tower. Yeah, it's like they came to a major realization and it's like they've seen you make some type of drastic change. Wow, you know, this was all taking place. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune. Whatever took place was definitely destined to take place. Like if somebody was trying to, you know, make that person see you a certain way so that person wouldn't want to come towards you. This needed to take place so they could see who the person was that, you know, to see that they, they were around a false person. And it's like this person intentionally did this out of some type of, you know, jealousy or something like that. The way this false person is looking on the card is like that person was eyeing you or looking at you. A certain way. 
And this could have definitely been like intimidation, jealousy, or they seen something in you that they didn't see in their self. And they wanted to, you know, blind that person from the truth. But this person needed to go through this. Yeah, so they would be able to see the truth. So something could be illuminated to them. The sun card is here. About whoever that person is. Could have been hidden for a long time. The fool. Yeah. So they would be able to go towards a whole nother direction. Because somebody was holding that person up. And they were trying to hold you up to make you look bad. This is... <laughs> And now they're embarrassed. Somebody humiliated themselves. Yeah. Seven of Cups in the reverse. It's like somebody is not even, they couldn't confuse this person. Then you have the Page of Wands. It's like there's no telling what this person was doing to try to get that person to see you a certain way. They could have been trying to cause confu uh, confusion with communication. If you were in communication with that person, it's like this is somebody that does not have a life. They don't got nothing else better to do. Six of Pentacles. This person could have been paid or they thought they were going to get something out of that person if they did this. Like they would get this person to take care of them or something like that. Maybe they're very generous to that person. This is someone that they always look out for or do for. And they were intimidated about that person coming towards you. Yeah, the Empress. That's so like you could be a parent and that person is jealous of that. And then the Queen of Cups. Yeah, so you could definitely be a parent. You're someone that's very loving, very kind, very nurturing. Um, you have this healing type of energy that comes, that's attached to your, your aura. And um, somebody did not like that. They don't like the fact that you're emotionally stable. You're at peace. You know how to keep yourself grounded out. This person could be going through some type of trauma that they have not healed or something like that. This is someone that's seen something in you that they did not see in their self and they were intimidated by it. So they wanted to try to blind the person that wants to come towards you from, um, from the truth. And this could have definitely been like a sister or brother or some type of relative of theirs that they confided in and they could have, you know, knew that that person was watching you and they immediately got jealous. I'm here taking my spot or something like that. This is sad. This could be someone that is very, you know, those type of family members that wants to know everything that you have going on or you're, you're used to confiding in them and things like that. And they feel like if you get in a relationship or get attached to someone, you're going to disconnect from them. And it's like somebody did not know how controlling, they didn't know how controlling this person was, like when it came to their life. So it's like they needed to see that. So that could be illuminated and this person would not be able to have whatever control that they thought they had over that person. Because they hid it for a long time. This person could have made it seem like they cared. You know, cause something and then turn around and make it seem like, hey, you don't need to go towards that person. Look at look what that person is going through. You don't need to be involved in that. You don't need to be a part of that. But they're the one that caused this. This is sad. Something is getting ready to come back towards whoever this person is. I feel you leaving me behind. So that person could feel like you're leaving them behind. You know, your pathway is clear. They let this person hold them up. And that person expected for you to be at a stalemate. Yeah, you could literally like be on the chariot. Like you move forward. This person is someone that, you know, they feel you even though you and them are not attached to each other. My life is not together as it seems. It's like this person is going through a lot and they could have been codependent to that person's energy. Taking negative advice from that person. 
And this could have went on for a long time and that person could have seen that as a form of control, manipulation. This is like being in someone's business way too much. But they were used to this. Somebody needed to put their foot down. Is this someone who hid who they really are from you? I remember every detail of that day. So this person is, is remembering um, every detail of a day that either you were around that person or they last talked to you. Something like that. I don't react when people mention you. Yeah, so it's like somebody wanted someone to be like, if this person is someone that, you know, has some type of plans of com coming towards you um, to connect with you and this will lead to a commitment because this person wanted to date you. This is how that person wanted it. They wanted that person to stop thinking about you. They wanted that person to not, you know, have any reaction when it comes to you. So it's like this person, you know, they're hiding how they truly feel about you to whoever this, you know, this person is or different people that may know the situation that um, took place that has came to a complete end. You speak to me through music. It was my fault, but I blamed you. I love you unconditionally. Yeah, somebody definitely needed to stand up and take control of their self and like put their foot down. Cause um, somebody was too off into someone's life off into their business and um they thought they had control over that person like they can easily manipulate that person control that person's mind get that person to do stuff without thinking and now this person is sitting back realizing all of this and they feel like you're leaving them behind yeah five of cups is here it's like they're literally disappointed in their self at this point Six of Pentacles. Yeah, they're disappointed because they want something to be balanced out. And then Judgment is here. And then Page of Pentacles. Yeah. It's like something took place where that person could have experienced some type of karma. If they were allowing that person to manipulate them, control them, and... um give them bad advice, you know, have them doing stuff without thinking. This is sad. This was heavy manipulation. You have the Ace of Swords in the reverse. It's like, this was definitely something that was just like brutal, unfair, um, just to cause some type of confusion. It's like they wanted that person to rethink whatever it is that they already had made a final decision to do, what they had already planned, and they clouded that person's judgment and just have the, had them at a two of one stalemate, not knowing what to do next, not knowing which direction to take. This is sad. Tower. Yeah, and it's like if this person lied about something, a lot of stuff came out in this tower. Whatever they were hiding came out. And this gave this person some type of awakening. Yeah, Seven of Wands is here. It's like something backfired onto this lie that uh, this person told. They could have realized that they needed to block that person off. Get this person out of their business. Nine of Swords. Yeah. This person got exposed. And then the Eight of Swords. 
So if they were attached to someone, say if they attached to this person, this person, you know, did something fraudulent to have you stuck in some type of legal situation and they figured that that would have you stuck, you know, you wouldn't be able to do anything. You wouldn't know what to do next. This backfired in ways that they would least expect because that person went through some type of tower. Like they could have ended up going, being stressed out in some type of situation and they went to jail, eight of swords, nine of swords. And this stressed this person out. So it's like something immediately backfired and caused the tower after this lie was told. So somebody told a lie to someone. It's like somebody told a lie on you and they wanted the person that they were attached to that wanted to come towards you to think that that lie was true. And they figured you would never get out of whatever this lie was told, but did not expect for this tower to hit like something immediately backfire. And they sat back and watched that person go through a lot of depression. They watched that person feel stuck, feel restricted, you know, um, trying to figure out what was going on with them. Why were they wrapped up in some type of situation? It's because of this karma hit, like somebody went through some type of karma so they could learn a valuable lesson about the people or the person that they were attached to. It's like when, when people, when other people karma hit and you're attached to them, you know they're negative, you get some of that karma too. And this person was not thinking, it's like they, they weren't thinking. The star card is here. Yeah. This all took place because somebody needed to heal. Nine of Cups. Yeah, so they can have some type of emotional stability. Ten of Pentacles. And then the Six of Swords. Yeah, because it's like whatever this person, this person needed to get emotionally stable so they would be able to move forward, release whatever this was, leave that person behind, make this change so they would be able to build long-term success for their self. That person has a Ten of Pentacles. This took place, this karma hit because that person was being divinely guided to sail away to karma waters. Because they have a Ten of Pentacles, but whoever that person is, it's like they can't go with them. That person is too controlling. And this is someone that they, you know, possibly did not realize that that person was someone that was, uh, sa they've sabotaged their self. So it's like they're self-sabotaging. As long as they stay attached to that person, they're completely sabotaging their self. They're constantly in regret. They're constantly disappointed about different things that they did and didn't get the outcome that they expected. You know, just constantly feeling trapped. You have the hermit. This is someone that don't, they don't even want to be around this person. The hermit and the queen of wands. They have the King of Cups. Queen of Swords. And then the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, this is somebody that just said, it's like whoever this person is. Yeah, so you spoke the truth about something that this person had hidden. Whenever you were attached to that person, you spoke the truth about something that this person had done did in the past or that was hidden for a long time. And they got they got mad. So it's like once you said whatever you said, they told that person that they needed to hold back from you after you spoke this truth. It's like they wanted that person to think that, no, nah, you shouldn't you shouldn't go towards that person. Like something wasn't right about you. But in reality, deep down, you hadn't spoke the truth. You could be someone that's a, a spiritual investigator. You're very intuitive. You could be a tarot card reader as well. Yeah, and they wanted that person to like guard their self away from you. Some type of information you found out that was hidden. The moon card is here. Yeah, and they wanted this person to think like, hey, you need to hold back from that person. It's like you're too intuitive. They didn't want that person to know you were speaking the truth. They could have wanted that person to think you were crazy. Yeah, justice is here.
And then the devil. Yeah, it's like the truth came out about this person finding out this could have been a karmic sister, a karmic brother. Somebody is finding out that they're in a toxic karmic cycle with a family member. They found out the truth about who that person is to them. But they were trying to hide it. It's like that person could have knew. Three of Pentacles and then Three of Cups. Yeah, and whoever that person is, they were working behind the scenes with, could have been other family members, other brothers and sisters. They had went to and had help to uh, sit back and research you. They could have had help with um, causing some type of deception to have you wrapped up in some type of just, just, um, fraudulent court case. It was like this was family members, like one family member that had harbored some type of resentment because um, they seen something in you that they didn't see in their self. They went to other people and like lied to get them to help them. This is sad. Yeah, the two of swords, like they just blatantly lied to these people. Out of jealousy. Yeah, ten of swords is here. This is somebody that definitely wanted some. They wanted endings for you. They wanted this person to sever ties. They thought this lie would bring something to a complete end. That person wouldn't want to come towards you. You and that person would be severing ties. But somebody feel like they were lied to and they got betrayed, backstabbed by somebody that was close. And as this person had ten swords in their back, that person that wasn't the first time they did this. This person had not did this over and over again. They're just now seeing it. Yeah, temperance is here. And then the musician. And then you have the ace of pentacles. Either way it go, you know, you're someone that's very patient. You could be this earth angel. You know, you kept yourself grounded. You could have prayed a lot throughout this situation. If this was a lie that was told on you, you knew you had nothing to worry about. So you focused on something different. And it's like you focused on, you know, walking in your purpose, finding the meaning of, you know, what you wanted to do with your future. And you've manifested a lot. It's like you chose to stand up and take action. You stood up in your power, your self-confidence. Ace of Pentacles is here. It's like you're on a whole new venture. God is gifting you with abundance. You have prosperity. This is why that person is in despair and they're embarrassed. 